So those of you that uh, use a dry cleaner, you might be familiar with McNatt's cleaners here. Um, they're pretty big family owned business. But unbeknownst to you, that if you get your shirt or your pants or whatever done here, you're supporting misogyny, you're supporting racism, you're supporting the violation of people's civil rights, their human rights, their, their right to basic um, human decency. And I worked there for two months. The reason why they fired me was uh, I told the one girl, I said, uh, they don't do right by people here, and they don't. They don't. People, imagine this. Imagine your mom or your daughter, you know, everybody needs to work and all that shit, you know. Imagine your mom or daughter comes to work, gets here at 7 a.m., and has to clock out at 10, and might be able to clock back in at 12, 1 o'clock, work from 1 o'clock till 3 o'clock. So you might be here 12 hours, okay? You might be here 12 hours, but you only worked six. And I'm just telling you, like I seen, and I'm gonna name names, I seen the supervisor, Harry Senior, his last name is Farr, F-A-R-R, -R, okay, cause he's far gone. I seen him walk into the lunchroom right in front of people, right in front of me, and talk to a woman, get in her, get in her personal space, and like, like a dude, you know, like he was talking to a man and he's like degrading her, saying shit that I really don't want to repeat on here. And just his whole thing was like, it was cool. You know, like it was okay to, it was okay to talk to someone's mom or their sister like this. So you people that, you know, and not to mention the owner, he said, he said to girls that work here that want to raise that have been here for two years, you know, he pays them, pays people like fucking uh, 1975 wages. He's asked women, well, don't you got a boyfriend to take care of you? Like, what is this, 1963? Just this shit I've seen here, this shit only goes on in Florida because they are fucking way behind the times here. And I, I don't care. I'm going to talk about it. This dude that owns this place is a piece of shit. The dude that runs it's a piece of shit. His son, Harry Jr., is a piece of shit. They're a bunch of cowards. When they fired me, they couldn't even look me in my eye and tell me because here's the thing about bullies. They only can bully you when they feel like they have power. I never gave them any power. They would say shit to me and I just figured it out is that they don't want me talking to other black people or people of color, I would walk through the place and I'd talk to everybody and they'd be like, hey, uh, like Harry Jr., his son. Dude, this is a fucking dry cleaners, okay? I worked at a prison before. This isn't a prison, but they're trying to like go, oh, don't talk to people that are ironing a shirt. Like you can't say what's up to them. So I'm just telling you, South Tampa, North Tampa, wherever you are in Tampa, Brandon has, has a location, McNatt's cleaners, I'm telling you, May um, all my cats die if I'm not telling the truth that these people are big fucking, um, they're, just, they're just not good people. So when you get your clothes cleaned here, you're supporting misogyny. You're supporting racism. You're supporting people getting paid less than what they're worth. Poor working conditions. They make you work Saturday. Imagine that you have a family okay and you have to come in here and work saturday it's mandatory you have to work saturday when i worked saturday i'd get there and you'd have to clock out for an hour and 45 minutes on a fucking saturday can you imagine so these other people you know they need a job where are they supposed to go they shouldn't have to put up with this shit. so i'm just telling you you guys have no clue the shit that goes on here the guy is just a complete, the owner, the supervisor, and the supervisor's son, I'm just telling you, if you choose after watching this video to get, and this isn't something that, you know, like I'm making up because I don't like the people or whatever, yo, God is my, God give me cancer of the eyes, I'm telling you right now, this is the truth, these people are pieces of shit.